Welcome back. We have finished the restoration of our 8-bit ASR33 teletype. In the previous 9 episodes we fixed just about everything, as pretty much nothing was working on this machine. Not the keyboard, not the distributor, not the receive electronics, not the printing head, not the punch, and not the reader. But now they all work. Time to put it back together and try it out for a demo. Quick recap before we fire it up. The ASR33 is a mechanical teleprinter of the Teletype brand, a name which pretty much became synonymous with the machine. This model, introduced in 1963, worked with the then brand new ASCII standard. Note that the lowercase letters have not yet been assigned by the standard, so this is a caps only machine. ASR33s were predominantly used as terminals for early computers before electronic terminals with screens existed. In this picture, you see Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie using them to develop the first version of Unix. Ever wonder why Unix calls a terminal device TTY? Yes, of course, TTY stands for teletype. But the ASR33 is more than just a keyboard and a printer, it is also a mass storage device and it stores bits on a tape a paper tape to be exact, and not any paper tape, but the new fangled one inch white tape like the yellow one here that can fit 8 bits. That's a whole 3 more than the old pink 5 bit bodo tape that had been in use since the 1930s. And some machines, unfortunately not mine, even include a modem for connecting over the phone on the right side. So really, 5 machines in one. Just imagine what you could do if you had one, like this lucky fellow in 1967. You could check the weather in the morning, receive quote alerts, and even personal messages right next to you from your bed. Clearly, this is the machine that is going to bring us a better future. In this demo, I will connect it not to a computer, but to a 1974 HP terminal, one of the machines that would eventually dethrone the teletype, but is still compatible with its old 20 mA current loop and can connect with it at the blazing maximum speed of 110 baud's. So I think we're done, ready for demo. Line. So here I am sending an ASCII message pre-recorded on the HP terminal magnetic cartridge to the teletype. I have the teletype set up to print the message and also punch it on the tape. Alright, so it punched a whole bunch of things. 
<laughs> can't even see the end. And it all worked fine. It doesn't make mistakes. And I, I realized I put this thing wrong. This should be come over. Uh, so the, the paper doesn't have a tendency to come back in there. So I have to re-thread it. Alright, so now we'll, we'll try to see if we can recover that tape. And reread it, resend it. My leader is too small actually. Let's see if it barely goes there. And if I don't pay any attention, it's going up. There we go. Go underneath. So I should just be able to hit start. And here we go. We are transferring it. Turning over there. and it has retransmitted the text without making any errors phew well give a hand to the ASR33 like four machines in one transmitter, printer, tape reader and punch